So we're here with uh, Open EPC. So who are you? So I'm Drago Schwingersen. I'm a co-founder and um, CTO of, uh, of a spin-off company of a big research institute in uh, Germany. And um, Sorry, what are you showing here? Yeah, here we have an entire mobile core network on a simple Raspberry Pi. So we're taking everything that big operators are having in big data centers and we're showing that actually we can have it on a very efficient platform and um, yeah, power it over USB in practice. So you, what, what is, what is it that you have? That's like yeah. a, a LTE broadcasting solution or what is it? Uh... Yeah, so it's actually, you can establish a small mobile network on remote islands uh, or for public safety purposes and so on. And here's the whole uh, mobile network here. We have the base stations. So here's the LTE base stations. It also works with 2G, 3G and Wi-Fi base stations. And this basically connects to a phone that is inside of this Faraday box and yeah, we close it up so we don't increase the local mobile networks. Um, inside there actually we have a standard Galaxy S4 uh, device and yeah, we're just putting it outside of the box. Close it. You know, when we have real LTE radio, we're not going to yeah. increase the, the networks here. And this is another Raspberry Pi, actually. That just shows us what happens inside the box, so we don't have to open it, and uh, that the, what's inside stays isolated from an RF perspective. So the Raspberry Pi is an ARM 11 CPU, right? It's not even a very high performance. No, I think it's actually an ARM 7. ARM 7. So yeah, yeah no, actually, it's it's really really low power and uh, and everything. And uh, how, how do you make it work? Um, so efficient you, software. <laughs> efficient software. Yeah, efficient Linux software. You rewrite everything, or yeah, you just use the same everything. software that's used on big machines. Exactly. So we took a team of uh, ten researchers and we gave them a challenge, and um, yeah, they did what typically big uh, network equipment providers would do with hundreds of engineers. So what is Open AP EPC? It's the entire platform, the entire software platform. Um, so it's well, open. Is it open source? No, it's, it, unfortunately it's not open source, but we do license the source code, um, and... So, so who are your customers? Here it, yeah. here it is what we have, these are the components that we have in the core network, um, and in this Raspberry Pi actually we implement the entire mobile network, as you can see here, so that we have all the functional elements that we have in a normal network, um, in this demo, we are using just LTE, but it's capable also for 2G and 3G and Wi-Fi, and has the latest sort of 5G core network features. So, who are your customers? Our customers are the special purposes uh, guys, so uh, public safety, in IoT operators that need something really different from the from the standard equipment. Pro uh, what the standard equipment uh, providers would uh, provide would give you. So, what do you think about ARM? The ecosystem. Oh, it's great. I mean, you know, we, we're, we're typically running this on a cloud platform, but to be able to go down on such a very low platform and to demonstrate that even such a very, very small and USB power device can provide 10 to 15 megabit per second, it's, it's just awesome. So you could optimize for any of these ARM networking solutions coming out, 64-bit? Yeah, uh, stuff like that, right? Well, with that, you're Are you going working on to this? tens of gigabit per second and uh, wire speed performance. This is really just power efficiency at its best. Uh, it's just a demo, right? Yeah, it's just a power power efficiency at its best, and if you can, you know, if you look at it, it's basically it goes into um, into. Let me just turn it on a little bit so that actually it will attach to the network. So this goes into. Um, the direction of creating mobile mobile networks because we can bundle the core network with the cell and put it for example in every vehicles and so on so for this disaster relief this would be an ideal um, and cost efficient and energy efficient solution 